You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something... you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know... about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the Schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying reason, Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits, and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying, Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless... he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Cambalar. Oh yeah, right, because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. 
Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. So it seems we're going to be staying here for the night. And, uh, yep, rest at the room in the temple. And we got a sub-question here. A chat with Wingle. Perhaps this is the opportunity to speak to Wingle that I've been waiting for. Huh. So it seems Rowan has a bone to pick with him. Need to rest in preparation for tomorrow. Yeah, yep, I said. So tired, so much has happened. Guys in his Camary whatever, they think they're such hot stuff. Come tomorrow, we'll wipe the smirks off their faces. I'll go alone if I have to. Hmm, may take a little time for me to process this information. Wonder if we have to talk to Wingle right now, or if we just have to rest and then talk to him? Far as I can tell, though, I don't think that's going to be an option. I'm going to have to... I mean, they went into this room, and it seems they have a guard. They're like, yeah, no. Two rooms on the second floor. Lord Wingle invites you to use them as you see fit. Also, this right here... Uh... Keep in mind, this is part of the mysterious jewels that we've been collecting. You know... Uh, where are they at? They're somewhere around... Yep. These things... They're for this. And all those holes right there, that's where we put them in. And if you count them up, which I'm going to do right now because I forgot. There's 23 of them. So we need 23 and I have 7. Yeah, it ain't happening anytime soon. If I remember correctly, when you fill these up, something amazing happens and then we can get some pretty damn good treasure. Though not without its drawbacks, obviously. <laughs> At the very least, not without a fight. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Fighting! I wonder if Wingle's in here. and I doubted it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm making sure if we do have to talk to Wingle. I mean, there's two rooms here for a reason. Maybe Wingle's in one of them. And there's this right here. Oh. Okay, he says there's two rooms and we can't even go in the second one. Whatever, man. I don't care. Fuck. Anyway, then we're going to head in to sleep in for the night, and then there's this door right here. Exits to another side of the temple. At the very least, it exits to this part of it. I wonder if there's any treasures we can get. You know, before we head to sleep, you know. <laughs> and I think, yep, yeah, it's just dude by himself. Alright. You know what, screw it. Yeah, we're going to go to bed, and then we're going to talk to Wingle in the morning. You wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. 
I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty night, kid. So it seems we're not ready to go to bed just yet, then. Kill some time until bedtime. Aw, shit. Sounds like some serious stuff right there. wonder if there's any more NPCs we can talk to. Oh, well, there's Mila right there. What about this guy? Well, it seems you're still on your watch. All right, then. Mila it is. Can't sleep? No. <laughs> Me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind, if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. Alrighty then. Seems we're all wide awake. And it seems it's just due right now, so we gotta meet up with everyone else again. I'm wondering if uh, Wingle is still around, though. The guard's still right there, so... Doesn't seem to be very useful to try to talk to him right now. <clears throat> Maybe everyone's just out here then. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? 
We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude, do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. Oh, why can't we all stick together? <laughs> what shall we do? Let's see. We can take that side path from the temple into the city, then move along the roofs to the castle. From there, we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers. Meanwhile, Gaius and the others will create their diversion. Sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once. Anyway, let's go. You got it. Ah, shit. Muse certainly is easy on the eyes, wouldn't you say? I guess. Leave Jude alone for half a second and he always comes back with some new girl. Damn right he does. Footprints. <sighs> My neck is killing me. Did you sleep on it wrong? No, it's been this way since I was swept into the Fezabel marsh flow. I have a poultice you can use, although it was intended for lower back pain. Jude, it's pretty faint, but I think there's a footprint on your face. Huh. I did have a dream that Agria was repeatedly stomping my head. From the size and shape of that footprint, it would seem that dream was no dream at all. What is wrong with her? Why would she do that? Maybe she was trying to apologize? Saying we got off on the wrong foot? Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to chalk this one up to a concussion. You don't know how close you just came to getting another boot in your face. <laughs> God freaking damn it. Then again, Jude, you kind of had that coming with the pun anyway. <laughs> Looking out for little sis. I'm sorry for getting you tangled up in this war. Not at all. I welcome the opportunity. As a spirit, I can never forgive those who use Spyrex. It is good to have your strength on our side. You have my gratitude. Your gratitude? As a big sister, what choice do I have but to keep my little sister out of trouble? A bit condescending, aren't we? Ah, isn't it wonderful to have a family? Is that what we are? It would seem so. Yep. Use A's duty. How long do you intend to accompany us? However long I must. It is my duty to serve Lord Maxwell in the eradication of this Exodus group of Spyrex users. I don't recall ordering that. Your memories are your own, but it is the truth. Regardless, it sure is good to have a great spirit on our side. Yes. And I would be most grateful if you would continue to direct Tether with me. Oh my. I knew it. You really are in that kind of relationship. But I... Why won't anyone explain this to me? <laughs> Runs in the family. God damn, somebody skits all of a sudden. Hmm. Don't! Don't stare at me like that! What exactly is this strange object that is speaking to me? Strange? Strange? Maybe you should take a peek in the mirror, weirdo! Oh my. Rude as well as strange. I cannot say that I am fond of it. The mean spirit lady is calling me rude. Tipo, are you okay? Wow, she can even frazzle Tipo. I bet she really is stronger than Mila. It's her natural obliviousness that makes her so formidable. Unless that's just an act. Although that would be even scarier. That's no act. She is Mila's sister, after all. And you just say that in front of me? Who's the oblivious one now? So you've lost the four, and gathered these strange humans in their place. 
What a peculiar choice. And my band of strange companions keeps growing. <laughs> God damn it, so many skits. The Tao of Jow. Huh? Can I ask a question? What is it? It's... It's about Jow. Do you know why he saved Elise? A difficult question. I could speculate, but we'd have no way of knowing if I was right. It looked to me like he sacrificed himself to honor a vow he had made. But what sort of vow and to whom, I couldn't begin to guess. So nobody knows. Why not ask the other members of the Chimeriad? They would know Jao better than we do. But they're so scary. You guys do it! That could certainly be arranged. However... Would you be satisfied with an answer that you didn't find for yourself? That's true. Yep. And here we are at Canbalar from an alternate entrance. And there's, uh, Exodus members everywhere. I'm gonna fuck them up. That's what we're gonna do. Infiltrator sergeants and technician sergeants. I'm going for the technicians first. Ain't no technicians I ever heard of. I think I may have already mentioned that before. I, mean, I even made a Tech Nine reference, but screw it. Anyway, I'm just gonna link up with Mila now. Hooray for the options. Oh, goodness. There we go. They're definitely handling them pretty damn good, I must say. They seem to be just like the same before. I mean, these are the speedy type enemies. And then there was the technicians, which seem to have like slightly long range. Not exactly magic users, but still pretty a pretty big annoyance considering I think they could still burn you. I can still do better. Damn right you can. So anyway, here we are going across the rooftops of Canbalar. And we have to go through all this, we've got to figure our way around it, and yes. Snowfall sure is getting heavy. Perfect weather for an infiltration. Damn right. And stalwart sergeants, and the best link partner is Jude for this. But I'm Jude, so kind of redundant. Seems these are the heavy type, the heavy hitters for the most part. And there goes Elise with that new art of hers. God damn, that looks pretty damn awesome. Just a bunch of like dark blades flying in, and I didn't need to do that. I was trying to press the guard button. <laughs> Uh, it's because I had it right above the triangle button too. Just what is Tipo? Such a grand mystery. How is it? I never gotten that one before. Maybe I just haven't had this party set up in a while. So yeah. <laughs> so here we're going across all of this, and I'm wondering if there's even treasures we can find while we're here. Honestly, these guys are getting pretty decent experience. Down. He sure is strong. You could say that again. Jude, behind you. Huh? <laughs> you gonna gonk all day, kid? Let's go. All right. Look at that. A demon fist or demon fang so strong it could go up freaking buildings. At least I think that was a demon fang. An attack so strong he doesn't even have to be like on the same level as the guy. So it's freaking crazy, huh? So these freaking technicians are everywhere. My god. Alright, I'm gonna link up to Elise for a little bit. I do kinda want that title. The sooner the better. And it's really slowing down right now. And I didn't even... Yeah, way out of range for that one. And pretty much we're just going across the rooftops. So not really much else you can do around here. Except maybe look for treasures, but I don't think you really can. And then there's these freaking enemies all over the place. And I don't think there's anything... Yeah, it's just the technicians, the stalwart sergeants, and then yeah. Nothing new. If I find find any new enemies, I'll like I'll leave the battle in. I think actually, oh yeah, we can go up that roof right there, but it doesn't seem very useful to do so. Honestly, I think I remember there being treasures that we could find around here, but don't quote me on that though. 
right direction or not, we'd better keep moving before we freeze. Damn right. Honestly, I always thought it was like, wait, how do we get over there? But then I remember, wait, it's not showing on the map, so... Why even freaking bother? This way. Thank you. And, oh, wait, yeah. Freaking castle. We gotta go all, all the way over here. Thought that was a door we had to go through. They appear to be struggling. Shouldn't we help them? Uh, Their diversion will be for naught if we join them. We have to save his highness. Don't let them lay a finger on his highness or the civilians! The people really do love him. If I'm not mistaken, your job here is still to help Mila win. That's right. Let's go, Leia. Gotcha. Look at that. That's how you know when you're a freaking decent ass king. You got your subjects going, he's like, hell yeah. We'll help you? Hell yeah, let's join in. I don't think we can. Oh, hey, we just gotta make our way over here. And check that shit out. the music that they have playing right now honestly but for now let's just deal with these guys and if I remember correctly a certain character is gonna be popping up again sometime soon if I remember this area correctly and let at least this thing finish that off isn't it a bit well too short I know isn't that great and unrestricted I guess so we're thinking about this now while we're trying to take freaking control of a ship I like it survived hit the showers fraud the curtain just closed on you I'm the new star of the show now thanks Ivor I'll rest I could use a breather no 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 this is all wrong now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage uh, okay in that case I'll take care of it ah you think I'm just gonna let you play the hero You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own weight, I have no concern. Anyway, let's go. God damn it, Ivor. Ugh. I know I should hate you for, like, what you pulled off with Lanza Kresnik in the first place. But still, after something like that, 
it's freaking hilarious, I must admit. If you guys noticed, when he fell and then, like, landed on the ground, like, the freaking soldiers got sweat drops on them. <laughs> That's when you know you can't even take Ivor seriously anymore. Finally. I have seized control of the ship! Drop your weapons and surrender! Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop-de-loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. And I hate you again. Idiot. What do you do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. Yep, I'm gonna go right back to hating you again. <laughs> the Spyric Sentries. They have decent amounts of health. They're not even considered bosses, though. Seems Alvin's the best bet for this, so I'm just gonna switch over to him right now. <laughs> Oh, man. At the very least, they're not boss level, so I'm not really worrying that much and watch them kick my ass more than Gaius. Oh, man. I doubt it. And I think that was Thunderblade. Indeed it was. <laughs> right, I forgot I got Mila Thunderblade. And speaking of which, I haven't even distributed her GP, but still. Eh, Thunderblade. Goodness, that is freaking awesome. I think she has a bunch of other ones, too, that I haven't really bothered checking out yet. For now, though, let's just kick these things' asses. Yeah, I'm using Beast in midair. Because screw everything. And I think... Oh, uh, crap. Was that the other guy? That uh, was the other guy. And Mila got him. All right, cool. <laughs> and just going to beat the crap out of this. And they barely gave any more experience than the guys we've been fighting so far. Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all. Lady Mila, are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? Give him credit, though. He at least took control of the ship. The ship is ours. <laughs> Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up. <laughs> 